Hi, it's Mona. Today I am creating a mini slimline card using some of my favorite supplies. I will be using the Sometimes Life is Prickly stamp, followed by the Year 10, leftovers from the Simply Celebrate Summer stamp. You can find the list of supplies linked below. First, I stamped the images onto Nina Solar White cardstock using Jet Black Ink and My Misty. After stamping, I heat set the ink with my heat gun, a step never skip before coloring. Next, I prepared a small cacti for painting for securing them, making it easier to add color. These little plants were actually leftover die cuts from a previous project. I thought it was a great idea to use them in this card. Do you also find ways to utilize your leftover die cuts in new projects? The best ever craft tape is perfect for this process. Now it's coloring time. I'm using my Oho alcohol markers. I'm gonna use these colors. Feel free to check back here for the color combos anytime. I will put some music for the coloring process and I will be back with the continuation soon. After coloring, I add tiny details to the plant pots using stamps. 
These include texts and little faces, allowing them to contribute to the card's overall message. Next step is adding highlights. First, I brighten some details with Polychromos white pencil, then I use a white pigment pen in two sizes to create glow effects on the images. Then I cut them out with their matching dies. After die cutting, let's make the background. I select a sheet of cardstock from the Rainbow After Ever paper pack as well as the Gotha Hefgingham Rainbow paper pack. I ran them through my die cut machine with the two largest dies from the large mini slimline stackables. This cardstock looks amazing. Like an instant ink blending page, the gingham background will create a beautiful harmony. I also cut a 2.5 by 5.5 inch piece of cardstock from heavyweight white cardstock. I stamped the sometimes life is prickly sentiment onto the ink blended like cardstock using jet black ink. I assembled the cardstock using liquid adhesive. The great advantage of this adhesive is the flexibility it provides in my work. If I need to slightly adjust the placement of the paper, I still have the opportunity to gently slide it into the perfect position. This allows me to achieve a much more precise and refined final result. In styling, first I added the large blend, then the lovely glitter, followed by the rest. I play with texture, therefore I use both liquid adhesive and 3D foam squares. This gives a nice, playful arrangement. And here is my finished card. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!